dear friends in Christ Jesus the first day of reflection on the preparation towards christmas today let us reflect on god's unusual ways in which he has prepared the world for the birth of his son today let us go towards the genealogy and look at the presence of five women in the genealogy of jesus those five women mentioned in the genealogy of jesus all of them have a special place a special meaning as we know it was a male centered society in which women were nowhere in the scene and here in the genealogy of jesus itself Matthew mentions five women who are these why are these women there the first among them is Tamar Tamar was the daughter in law of Juda she was the wife of Er then later when her husband died according to the law of Levi she was supposed to receive a offspring a child a heritage through the brother of her husband Oran who did not do that later we see this woman Tamar she acting as a prostitute and getting her right of descendancy in the line of Abraham so dear brothers and sisters the first woman mentioned Tamar she stands as a symbol of the unusual way in which god does his work tamar persisted she stood for her right and she received it the second woman is rahab rahab again was a prostitute she was living by the wall city wall of jericho she was not a chosen one she was not an israelite she lived during the time of joshua and there the spies are sent in order to know about the place and what's happening there if you see raha gives protection to them she protects the spies from being killed and the lord promises her safety raha before giving protection to them she testifies to the presence of yahweh she says he is the true god he is the one who protects he is the one who is fighting for his people and i know that jericho is going to collapse because the lord is that side that's why i am helping you so a woman of not such good character but she had faith she had the wisdom and knowledge which so many people in jericho did not have because the lord works in unusual ways we are not supposed to judge anybody look at her and you know what happens to her later she is saved her family is saved and she becomes the mother of boaz who becomes the great grandfather of david in whose lineage jesus is born raha she who was evil woman she who was woman of loose character she who was pushed to the city walls jesus god brought her into the center of the lineage of jesus third woman is ruth now ruth again was a mohabite woman mohabites were again not the chosen people and they were also not seen as a tribe which was a blessing in any kind they were seen as cursed people she was a mohabite woman her husband's lineage was yes from israel but she was not but look at this woman ruth she teaches us so many things when her mother in law told her that your uh, other co sister she has left ofra has left do you also want to leave ruth says where shall i go i will be with you 
your god will be my god your people will be my people this faith she showed a widow a woman did not have any place did not have any support yet two widows together one elderly widow another young widow both of them make a journey they trust in the lord they did not trust in people they trust in the promises of god they trust in the faithfulness of god and see what happened again she is blessed after that we have bachiba bachiba another woman in the lineage the fourth one in the line bachiba again as we know her story she was wife of uria who had a normal life until that incident with david happened she was a victim wrong was done to her yet the lord blessed her the lord blessed her and she was having a place in the lineage of jesus she was an ancestor of jesus the world even today victimizes the victims someone to whom wrong is done they were wrong that's why wrong was done to them they are punished because they should have done something wrong that was the thought during the time of jesus even now the poor people the victims those who are suffering they are seen as those who are cursed those to whom evil will happen because they have something wrong now or in past janma we do not believe in all this janma and incarnations but this is how the language of the place where we live in goes on they say they should have done something wrong that's why they are suffering but here look at the lord he is not victimized by shiva rather he has imparted her included her into the lineage where jesus is born into the genes of jesus dna of jesus and finally we have mother mary who is an away fulfillment of all the women who went before her all the women who went before her all the four they were imperfect in some way or the other therefore their participation also was imperfect but here in mother mary we find a perfect woman that's why she became the mother of christ henceforth we should remember mother mary is the perfect mother of christ but the lineage has so many imperfections also so the lord works in unusual way the lord works in beautiful way the lord forgives and the lord includes everyone so too we are supposed to do amen